This podcast of local Brattleboro history is brought to you by Brattleboro Savings and Loan, the Bank of Brattleboro. Ten years ago this week, the Brattleboro Farmers Market announced it would be purchasing the Creamery property in an effort to expand accessibility in parking areas. The Brattleboro Creamery began in 1887 and was a way for local dairy farmers to earn a premium for the milk they produced. By carting the milk to the local creamery in Centerville, the butter produced earned about 10 cents more per pound than the butter made when the milk was shipped by train to the Boston area and then made into butter. By joining together to form the Brattleboro Cooperative Creamery, over 20 local dairy farmers were able to produce over 100 pounds of butter a day and earn a premium price for their product. As time went on, production increased and farmers benefited from the Creamery Cooperative. The Brattleboro Farmers Market continues the Creamery idea of individual farmers joining together to sell agricultural products locally. There are more than 50 farmers and businesses who sell locally produced agricultural products, crafts, and ethnic foods at the market. The market operates every weekend from May through October on about five acres of land between the Creamery Bridge and the oldest known house in Brattleboro, the Red Cape Cod style house on Western Avenue built in the 1760s. The farmer's market began in the early 1970s and is considered one of the best in Vermont. The Creamery Bridge was built over the Whetstone Brook in 1879 and is the last remaining covered bridge in Brattleboro. In 2010 it was closed to vehicle traffic and now serves as a walking bridge. The Red Cape Cod style house which borders the farmer's market was built by William Harris in 1768. He came from Massachusetts to become one of the first settlers of Brattleboro and bought 100 acres of land from Samuel Wells, who had settled in Brattleboro in 1762. The house is listed in the National Register of Historic Places and is recognized as one of the oldest existing houses in Vermont. During the time when the territory of Vermont was in dispute between the British colonies of New Hampshire and New York, Samuel Wells moved to Brattleboro from Deerfield, Massachusetts, bought over 6,000 acres, and registered the land deeds with the New York Colony. He ran a sawmill where the Whetstone Brook meets the Connecticut River and was appointed a colonel in the New York Militia. He served in the New York Colonial Assembly and remained loyal to New York during the land disputes between New York and Vermont. In fact, in 1774, while serving in the New York Assembly, Wells voted to impose the death penalty on Ethan Allen, Seth Warner, and other Green Mountain boys for their refusal to become a part of New York. During the Revolutionary War, Wells was a loyalist and supported the Crown of England over the colonists. In 1783, he was accused of spying for the English and smuggling rebel military information to the British in Canada. Wells' children received 1,200 acres of land in Canada for their father's loyalty to England during the Revolutionary War. It was 10 years ago this week that the Brattleboro Farmers Market announced it would purchase the land where the Brattleboro Cooperative Creamery once stood. The creamery began in 1887 as a way for farmers to join together to sell their agricultural products locally. Earlier, this land was part of the farm property owned by the family who built the oldest remaining house in Brattleboro in 1768. Before the land was split off into a 100-acre farm, it was owned by one of the first European settlers of Brattleboro, Samuel Wells, a contrary man who remained loyal to New York during the establishment of Vermont as an independent republic and loyal to England during the American Revolution. The Brattleboro Farmer's Market is a vibrant reminder of the collective agricultural heritage of our region. Thank you for listening to the Brattleboro Historical Society podcast. We hope you have enjoyed the program.